So guys, welcome back to the homebrew channel. So this is a second part of the Zephyrus 701, the 2020 edition with uh, i7 10875H. Um, and so what I'm trying to do in this video is to show you the thermal envelope actually. Um, so I'm using OCCT. Um, you might know about it, you might not, but you can download the check. Um, it's actually running a large data set uh, stress test uh, using AVX2. Um, what we have here is essentially the test running already for 2 minutes 35 seconds and counting. And the CPU thermal envelope is at 103.76 watts for the entire package. And it's not uh, down throttling or anything. So you can see also there is a mild undervolt. Um, 0 0.07 volt, so 7 millivolt. Um, it's really helping also with uh, the, the temperatures, obviously. Uh, you can see the temperatures are in the mid, well, I would say for the package 80, low 80s um, across the board, high 70s, except for core 4 over there and core 2. Um, so, all in all, it's really amazing that this laptop can do. Now you can hear the acoustics, so sound-wise, it's probably around 49 to 50 decibel. I'll test that out later, uh, but I don't have professional equipment to measure that, so that will be, have to be with uh, my uh, phone uh, speaker. Um, yeah, so so far so good. It's uh, it's holding there. There's also cross-referencing uh, through uh, MSI Afterburner. So you can see the frequency is holding steady at 4.3 uh, um, gigahertz. There's some very minor dips that I'm seeing now, uh, quite a while into the testing. So there might be some minimal throttling going on. Um, but if it is going on, it's really minimal because the power envelope is still at 104-ish. And yeah, so we're we've reached our ceiling, I think, on the on the thermals, um, which is stabilized around low 80s, um, high 70s. So I'll I'll stop the test at five minute mark. But so yeah, the the 2020 uh, GX Server One or the Zephyrus S17. Now it's been re uh, rebranded by uh, Asus. It's really, uh, it's really one hell of a beast. Um, I'll do a comparison later with the 2019 model. I still have it. Uh, it's actually running a six core my 2019 model. And I can tell you it could not sustain these um, frequencies, um, especially considering that this is uh, a full eight core uh, system. So thanks for tuning in. Um, next video is going to be um, essentially on uh, uh, the GPU um, so I'll do some 3D mark I'll do some uh, Shadow of Tomb Raider um, and yeah as you can see I don't do any fancy screen capture tests just filming things real time um, but so also you you know as viewers don't have any doubts to the authenticity of the of the testing and the results because um, sometimes you see those YouTube videos with um, charts and diagrams and no actual real-time footage. Um, so I take the kind of old-school approach to show you the real-time footage. Um, and so you can really uh, see how the system will perform um, in your environment. So we're at, we're at six minute mark actually, so a bit longer than I anticipated. Um, like I said, now there is a minimal throttling going on between 4.3 and 4.2 gigahertz. But wow, this is this is really amazing. I mean, this is not even advertised as a 104, 105 watt machine, um, but it truly is. So kudos to us as to making that happen. Undoubtedly, the um, liquid metal uh, cooling helps because they've applied the uh, thermal grizzly in the 2020 uh, release. So I think it's uh, it's really making it uh, possible. All right. Thanks for watching.